Hello guys, as a part of our curriculum, uh, as suggested by our college and department, I am making this video. So in our previous classes, we have uh, already dis discussed the concept of traction in the class. Uh, that is, uh, we have already covered the theory topics in the form of a uh, few formulas. I have written some of the formulas on the board. We have already noted those formulas. So in this video, I am going to explain a problem, problem related to traction. I have considered a problem and tried to solve that problem. Uh, so we already know that traction is nothing but uh, the capacity uh, of a vehicle to pull something is called as a traction. So well, before studying this problem, we have to look into some of the general formulas used in this problem. These are some of the general formulas which we are using in this problem. So we already have are familiar with this. I have uh, I have explained explained you these uh, formulas. The train resistance, the train resistance or total resistance is equal to RT1 plus RT2 plus RT3. These formulas I have written on the board. The howling capacity. Howling is again nothing but the capacity to pull something. Howling is pulling something. This is howling. So moving on to our problem. I have uh, taken up a problem from the Aurora and Saxena textbook. Uh, this problem is there in the textbook. So I have uh, taken this problem and dissected the problem into three different parts. This is a complete problem. In this problem, what they are asking is, I have dissected into two parts. What we have to find in this problem and what is the data given to us? I have dissected into two parts. So, so in this problem, they are they are asking us to find the maximum permissible train load that can be pulled by a locomotive. That is the first part. The second part is the to calculate the reduction in speed if the train has to climb a gradient of one in two hundred. A gradient is given. We have to calculate the reduction in speed if the train train climbs a gradient of one in two hundred. If the train next our third part is if the train climbs the gradient with a two degree curve, then what would be the reduction in speed these are the three uh, concepts they have they have asked us to solve next what is the data given in this problem the data given is the locomotive having four pairs of driving wheels they have given us that uh, the train is having a locomotive having four pairs of driving wheels carrying an axle load of 24 tons each the train has to run at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour on a straight level track straight level track of broad gauge here i have considered whatever the concepts that need to be found into different cases in the case one we have to find maximum train permissible train load that can be pulled by a locomotive that can be pulled by an engine i have considered this as a first case in order to solve this first case what i have done is i have considered the formula for howling capacity of a locomotive it is given in the textbook or uh, this formula we have already discussed in the class also it is howling capacity of a locomotive is given by uh, mu into wn where mu is equal to coefficient of friction and w is the is equal to weight of the driving axle n is equal to number of pairs of driving wheels and uh, capital w here you can see i have replaced wn by capital w it is nothing but the total load on driving wheels this we have considered Assume the coefficient of friction is equal to 1 by 6 to 1 by 8 that we have uh, seen in the uh, beginning of the problem itself. Here you can see here, uh, howling capacity of a locomotive is usually 1 by 6 to 1 by 8 times the load on the driving wheel. Either you can consider this or you can also consider directly from the table, uh, average dampness is equal to 0 0.166. I have assumed the coefficient of friction as 1 by 6 times W. Uh, now from the table that is this I have assumed this uh, coefficient of friction i have taken it as 0 0.166 into this is n for from the problem it is given as the locomotive having four pairs of driving wheels this is nothing but n four pairs of driving wheels is given and uh, moving on and this is w w have considered as that it is uh, the train the axle is capable of carrying an axle load of 24 tons each wheels are capable of carrying an axle load of 24 tons each this i have considered as w Hopefully you are clear with this. I have uh, equated this or I have uh, considered this as equation one. I have got a total uh, howling capacity of a locomotive is equal to 16 tons. This problem you have to note down this uh, table. Next moving on, con uh, continuing the case one. What I have done is I have uh, considered that I have tried to calculate the total resistance in the locomotive. That is total resistance is given by RT1 plus RT2 plus RT3 from the uh, from the, in the problem itself. That is, uh, we have already discussed about this formula in the class itself. RT1 is equal to 0 0.0016 W plus 0 0.0008 WV plus 0 0.0006 WV square. I have equated this as equation 2. 
where W is equal to weight of train in tons and V is equal to speed of train in kmph or speed of train in kilometers per hour. Now equating equation 1 and equation 2. I have noted uh, RT1 that is the total train resistance as equation 2 and uh, the previous one that is we have uh, got hauling capacity as 16 tons. I have noted this as equation 1 and total train resistance as equation 2. Now equating equation 1 and, and equation 2 that is hauling capacity is equal to sum of the various train resistance. Is, that is this is also given in the first page itself in the first page i have uh, given some of the formulas to remember mm, you can see here the total train resistance that is hauling capacity is equal to total train resistance here the hauling capacity is equal to sum of the various train resistance i have equated equation one and equation two when you try to solve this uh, by substituting the value of v the value of v is given in the formula or given in the problem itself as 80 kilometers per hour you can see here in the problem they have given that the train has to run at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour on a straight level track for a broad gauge this has been given as this can be considered as v the train has to run at a speed of 80 km kmph this i have considered as v and i have substituted the value of v and found the value of w w is equal to 351 uh, sorry 1351.4 tons uh, which can be approximately considered as 1315 tons now we are successful in finding the first case that is the maximum permissible train load that can be pulled by a locomotive is equal to 1350 tons now considering the second case from the problem we have to find or we have to calculate the reduction in speed if the train has to climb a gradient of 1 in 200 let us consider the train is facing a slope it has to climb a slope of 1 in 200 we have to determine the reduction in speed if the train is climbing this 1 in 200 slope how we are going to calculate this we have to consider the resistance due to gradient in our uh, explanation in the class i have explained the resistance due to gradient the resistance due to gradient is given by weight of train or resistance due to gradient is given by the product of weight of train and the percent slope percentage slope is that is 1 in 200 and weight of train w i have considered resistance due to gradient is equal to weight of train into percent slope next moving on this is how i have got the resistance due to gradient next again i have to consider the total train resistance the total train resistance which includes resistance due to gradient this is the resistance which we found in the which we considered in the previous case in this case the total train resistance is equal to what are the total resistance the train is facing I have considered the, uh, all the resistance faced by a train that is RT1 plus RG that is resistance due to gradient. It is given by the formula here. I have considered this formula. You are already familiar with this formula and equated it as equation 3. I have considered this as equation 3. Hence, equating the values from equation 1 and values from equation 3. I have equated the howling capacity to the total train resistance. The howling capacity is equal to sum of the various train resistance is equal to that is a uh, train resistance plus profile resistance this how i have considered you are going you can get this in the first page of the you can get this in the first page of the uh, slide you can see here i have con the resistance or uh, hauling capacity is equal to the total train resistance for a straight track on on level this i have considered here next uh, continuing continuing with the uh, explanation i have equated the hauling capacity to the sum of the various train resistance from this i am going to get from this i am going to get the value of v that is v is equal to 50 kilometers per hour for climbing the slope of 1 in 200 the train the claim the train climbs the slope with a speed of or with a velocity of 50 kilometers per hour so what is the reduction of speed the when a train is moving in a level track in normal in normal level ground the train used to travel at a speed of 80 kmph uh, when the train has to climb a slope of 1 in 200 the speed is obviously going to reduce now uh, the, the reduction in speed we have calculated in case 2 what is the reduction in speed that is uh, when a train climbs a gradient of 1 in 200 the speed it tra travels at a speed of 50 kmph that is in a level ground it used to travel at 80 kmph in a sloped ground it used to it is traveling at a speed of 50 kmph now what is the reduction of uh, speed when the train climbs the sloped gradient when the, when the train train climbs a gradient of 1 in 200 that is it is given by 80 minus 50 that is speed of train in level ground minus speed of train in the sloped grounds the reduction in speed is 80 or sorry the reduction in speed is 30 kilometers per hour the train 
reduce the high speed of 30 kilometers per hour when it is traveling in a sloped ground or when it is traveling in a, or when it is climbing a gradient of 1 in 200 when it is climbing a gradient of 1 in 200 next moving on we'll move on to our uh, next case that is uh, case 3 in case 3 what we have to do is uh, we have to find the if the train climbs the gradient with a 2 degree curve along with the gradient what is given here the two the train has to travel in a curved path 2 degree curve then what would be the reduction in speed now in previous class in we have considered the resistance due to gradient if a train has to travel or if a train has to climb a gradient we have considered that consideration that is reduction in speed next resistance due to curve we have to consider a curvature here in this problem they have given here the train what what will be the reduction in speed due to when the train travels at a two degree curve along with the gradient if a train climbing the gradient with a two degree curve then what would be the reduction in speed i have considered this case i have considered the resistance due to curvature the resistance due to curvature is given by 0 0.0004 w into d and considering case 3 that is ready, uh, uh, resistance due to curvature in order to find the resistance due to curvature when the train is taking a curve or two degree curve traveling in a two degree curve along with a gradient for this we have considered a equation rc is equal to 0 0.004 w into d for a broad gauge track we have to consider this equation for broad gauge track because in the problem we have been given that the track is given as a broad gauge track hence we have considered the equation 0 0.004 w into d this is for a broad gauge track if the if the gauge is changed that is if the meter gauge is changed this equation uh, or in place of 4 you have to consider 3 or when the narrow gauge is given in place of 4 you have to consider 2 this is the equation for uh, re resistance due to curvature uh, where, where, since the train is traveling in a broad gauge track, I have considered the equation RC is equal to 0 0.004 WD. Again, by substituting the, uh, e, by again considering the equation, the howling capacity is equal to sum of various train resistances. What I have to do is, inst uh, along with the previous resistance, along with the summation of previous resistance, this is uh, this is common for uh, R, this is RT1 and this is RG plus resistance due to curvature this is resistance the total train resistance plus rg that is resistance due to gradient plus resistance due to curvature i have considered all the three resistance and equated as equation 4 next moving on by equating the equation for howling capacity and the summation of various resistance uh, the train is facing i can find the speed of the train that is velocity here the for the value of w you know uh, in the uh, case one we have found the value of w that is the permissible weight uh, we have found it as w is equal to 1350 substitute the same value in the equation w is equal to 1350 and by substituting this we are going to get the value of v that is reduction of uh, speed in the train due to curvature the reduction of speed in train due to curvature is equal to 43 kilometers per hour the speed the train travels at 43 kilometers per hour when it is traveling in a curvature in a gradient in a gradient that is the curvature is given to us as a 2 degree curvature when the train travels in a 2 degree curvature uh, it reduces the speed to 43 kilometers per hour hence the reduction in uh, reduction in the speed of train when it is tra traveling in normal track to the, uh, when it's travel in a 2 degree curvature is that is 80 minus 43 that is equal to 37 point uh, sorry 37 kilometers per hour this is how we can solve the problems related to uh, traction this is a type of problem which has been given in traction